We are the masses. We depend on sugar and hype for happiness. If we complete an hour-long task, we feel like we deserve a break. Our minds wander as we think of ways to look like we have it all together. Unnatural stimulants or super stimulants have wrecked the natural reward system that gives us pleasure in life. We've gotten used to cheap fixes and have become numb. Our myopic focus on the easy dopamine fix has driven us to ignore reality. We've evolved to highly desire certain things, specifically food, sex, security, and social acceptance. Dopamine is the chemical in our brain that creates motivation. In lab experiments with rats, when the dopamine function is fully blocked, they become so lethargic that even getting up to get a drink of water is not worth the effort. However, if water is placed right in front of them, they will still drink. This demonstrates the necessity of dopamine. We may think that hunger or thirst is what is driving us at lunchtime, but our bodies are much more complicated than that. We don't just need to feel thirsty, we also need something that signals our bodies to get up and go. Dopamine is what spurs you into action, and the more dopamine you have, the more action you will be willing to take. Over the last week, I had an interesting experience that maybe you can relate to. I lost my headphones and I was too lazy or just too expecting that I would get them back to buy new headphones. And so for about 10 days now actually, I'd been working out or going for runs without music. And even driving in the car, like because I needed a dongle to listen to the music loudly, I really didn't have a good way of listening to my audiobooks or to something motivational on YouTube or to just listen to my music. And so I would just do these activities that I normally had music with, I would do them in silence. And at first it was really annoying, like I would get bored because I would, like wanted to listen to music while I was working out. And then slowly, over the last four days, I sort of got used to it. And then finally I did end up buying new headphones, and when I first listened to music again, it was like amazing. Music never sounded so good. The absence of it made it grow much fonder. This got me thinking about how dopamine, these small drips of dopamine that are so easy to just enter our lives, are consistently making us more and more numb. We eat too much sugar, it's in everything, it's unavoidable to a large degree. I'm always listening to audiobooks while I'm driving around or even as I'm walking from my car to the office, I don't spend that time without listening to something. And I tell myself it's because I'm improving myself, I'm using that time to learn something to make myself a better person. But oftentimes, I'm just using that space to fill up the silence. I'm reminded of an amazing bit that Louis C.K. did while he was on a late night talk show where he talked about how people will go to amazing lengths to fill up the silence. Even while driving, they're willing to text or to just look at something on their phone. Why? Because they can't even for a moment live with that silence. The thing is, I, you need to build an ability to just be yourself and not be doing something. That's what the phones yes. are taking away. Yeah. Underneath everything in your life, there's that thing, that empty, forever empty. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> the great problem with this is the fact that silence is often the greatest teacher. This is something that the Hindu sages would have advocated for and something I've experienced in my own life. The best results that I've often gotten have come from a place of ease, from that silence I've gotten hunches and intuitions that when I acted upon, the result was amazing. It was so much better than all the grit, all that hard work, all that effort that I myself could have put into it. And yet all these super stimuli in our life, they sort of prevent us from listening to the silence. And I don't wanna lose that touch. I don't wanna be so dopamine numbed that I'm like those rats in those studies who refuse to get up and go get the water that they need. Even if they're thirsty, they can't even bring themselves to create movement. I think to have the most ease, elegance, movement, flow in life, Oftentimes, it requires being willing to live with peace and patience with the silence. And that's something that I want to have more of in my life. And that's why I've decided that for the next 24 hours, from going to sleep tonight through the next day, I'm going to do a hard reset, a dopamine detox in which I don't use the internet at all. And I'm just going to try to spend that day as chill as possible. I think it's going to be somewhat hard for me. I'm just going to see how it feels to have a peaceful, quiet, uneventful day. Here's my findings. 24 hours later. Hey, it's a me and it's a day later. I will admit this hasn't been a perfect hard fast, a perfect reset. I realized after the fact that in order for this to have been a perfect dopamine detox fast, I probably should not have eaten any food today and I did have 
lunch and dinner. And I also had a single cup of coffee because I just couldn't resist. I really was starting to feel like that itch for caffeine. I guess I'm addicted, but I did not go on the internet today, save for just a few seconds before I turned the camera on just now. And I gotta say, staying off my YouTube channel, staying off my social media, and also giving myself that quiet space in between driving around today and, you know, relaxing, just not listening to anything, just listening to the silence, listening to myself, it's been wonderful. In fact, I feel today that my mental health is higher than it's been in a really long time. I didn't realize how much of a toll YouTube, this whole hobby of mine had been sort of affecting me mentally in which even though you're just trying to connect with people and say what's true to you, you end up being tied up with all of these results that aren't actually important to your life's work. At least that's what I had noticed had started happening with me. And the beautiful thing about this dopamine fast is that I was just in the silence. I was away from all of it. And it's an absolutely beautiful feeling to just come back to yourself and listen to your own inner genius. According to so many sources, silence is a source of tremendous creativity and tremendous genius. I don't remember where I heard this quote, but there's one quote that goes something like this. You can learn more in an hour of silence than you can from a year's worth of books. And yet how infrequently do we give ourselves the space to just listen to our own thoughts? When's the last time you drove around and didn't have something playing, didn't have something going, or didn't have some sort of stimuli in your world. Giving yourself that space of quietude, it's a very strange feeling and it does invoke all these nervous itchings at first, but then after a while, it is the source of your foundational strength, your source of peace, and it feels amazing. And I suppose the most important component in all of this is the fact that dopamine is deeply connected to your ability to move. Dopamine is movement, and if you consistently numb yourself with super stimuli, as I have been prone to do, then you're preventing movement in your life, and moving is living. And so, keeping these moments of detoxing, of fasting, of reducing the stimuli, it's a wonderful way to be, and it's something that I'm gonna strive to do much more. That's it for today's video, and I will see you guys soon. Cheers.